All right, guys, are you ready for to uh, see the team up to end all team ups? Today we're looking at arguably, arguably, probably the most popular character of all Marvel, which is of course Spider Man. And then you only, not only do you get one Spider Man, you got all Spider Mans throughout the multiverse. Uh, today we're looking at the uh, Spider Verse, Spider Geddon uh, Omni that just came out. So we're pretty excited for this. I'm actually currently reading this. Uh, so this is really cool. This is uh, came a little bit early, so we're excited to show it to you. So let me show you this first. This is the uh, standard. Here is the front, the spine, and I believe it has regular Spider-Man, just, you know, our old, old, good old Peter Parker, and then the, the back. And then it has the DM. The DM, easily the better cover. I, you know, hate to say it, but that Spider-Verse, like, diagonal like that, so cool. And then it has my boy Miles Morales, oof, looking, looking like a badass there. And then the back. Uh, yes, so there you go. This is the standard, the DM. I definitely like the DM. It's really cool. The standard looks really nice as well. So, um, you know, this is actually two epics because it collects the Spider-Verse event that happened a couple years ago as well as the Spider-Geddon event. So it's it's two epics in one and, uh, you know, they're they're all interconnected like a web, like a Spider-Man. <laughs> so we get to see that. So let me show you what is uh, underneath. And this is one of the coolest, coolest, uh, you know, displays like this that they have I, this one's really cool I, I i like spider man he's one of he's one of the coolest i think marvel characters uh, he's so down to the earth and relatable uh you know he's even though he has all these powers he's not like super rich later on he does become like you know successful but you know he struggles a lot especially when he's like you know taking pictures and all that so it's he's very relatable as as, as a character and to see all these uh, versions of him together super cool so let's go ahead and jump into it And, uh, you know, it's just seeing all the different costumes that they, they thought up for this, it's so cool. The, the Spider-Man Noir, that's such a cool uh, design. And, of course, if you, if you know, this inspired, of course, a lot of different uh, movies. It, it, the Into the Spider-Verse movie uh, with Miles Morales, that was from this one. Even the, uh, the Spider-Man No Way Home was actually inspired from the multiverse as well of the Spider-Verse. So it's really cool to see the inspiration for that here. Uh, and then let me show you, yeah, while I, while I go through here, I'm going to show you also or tell you what's included in this. Uh, the papers feel, it's pretty thin, feels, feels all right, semi-glossy as you can see, but it looks good. Uh, so this one includes, it's quite a bit, so get ready for it, Edge of Spider-Verse number one through five, Spider-Verse number one and two, Superior Spider-Man from 2013, number 32 and 33, Amazing Spider-Man from 2014, number seven through 15, Spider-Man 2099 from 2014 at number five through eight. Scarlet Spider number one through three, Spider Woman from 2014 at number one through four, Spider Verse Team Ups number one and one th through three, Edge of Spider Geddon number one through four, Spider Geddon number zero through five, Superior uh, Superior Octopus number one, Spider Force number one through three, Spider Girls number one through three, Peter Parker the Spectacular Spider Man from 2017 number three eleven through two three thirteen, Spider Gwen Ghost Rider number one through four. Vault of Spider-Man number one and two, Spider-Geddon, Spider-Man Noir video comics, Spider-Geddon, Spider-Gwen, Ghost Spider video comics, Spider-Geddon, Spider-Man video comics, Spider-Geddon handbook number one, and materials from Free Comic Book Day 2014, Guardians of the Galaxy. So it's it's uh, quite a bit in there. I think that's probably one of the most uh, that we've had for, for uh, you know, these titles like that. Uh, and it covers a lot of, you know, it's basically the whole start of the whole Spider-Verse. looks so nice. This is, of course, the cover that you see for the standard version. And like I said, I'm, I'm currently reading. I just finished in, uh, the, uh, Into the Spider-Verse, and I'm currently at the uh, Spider-Verse event going on. So it's, it's really interesting seeing that. Now, this does take place um, within, you know, early, early well, mid-teen to, you know, 20 teens, so 2015, 2014. So it is, cur like, concurrent with, like, the Secret War event that happened after the run by Jonathan Hickman with the Avengers. So it, there is some stuff in there that uh, that relates to it. So, I'm just, you know, in the deep dive that I'll do later, I'll, I'll tell you more about it. So just keep that in mind. There's, there's definitely, like, a little, I would say, like, a bump when you start reading it because there's things that they mention and you're just like, huh? Uh, but, yeah, we'll talk about that later. And then, oh, Miles Morales, oh, my boy! Again, I actually like how they've been taking out all these comics that kind of flow together. The Ultimate Universe, they took out a lot of those, which actually lead into Secret Wars. The Avengers by Hickman, which lead into Secret Wars. 
Uh, and then you have, of course, the Spider-Verse, which is part of the Secret Wars as well. So very cool. All these interrelated, you know, omnis and events that are going on. Now, if you guys read it, let me know what you think about the Spider-Verse. Which, which one of all these Spider-Mans are your, are your favorite? There's, there's a lot that's really cool. This is also where they introduced Spider-Gwen, which is really one of the, one of the most popular spider versions, I would say, that there is. And her story, her story is pretty sad as well. Yeah, this looks great, guys, as you can see. Uh, is this the first time they collected all of these, JP? Do you know? Oh, the Spider-Verse? Yeah. I think so. Ah, cool. Yeah, you know, they probably had, like, the oversized hardcovers, but, like, for, like, both the events, the Spider-Verse and the spider getting probably. I think maybe. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. All right, and then it also has the Spider-Verse, Spider-Geddon handbook, which kind of gives you, like, a overview of everything, as you can see there. And, uh, you know, I don't know why you would need that when you can actually just read the whole story, but there you go. Now you can see it. Very cool. Let's see what extras are included in this. Yeah, this is still part of the whole the guidebook. Okay. Now, I had read that there was, like, a spread like this, which is really cool, as you can see right there. Uh, it's number, uh, it, basically the covers from Spider-Man number 9 through 14 together. And you put them all together, it has all of these Spider-Man. And this one is Spider-Man, or Spider-Geddon number 0 through 5, and they all connect like that. That's really cool. If you guys have that, if you do have that, let me know. Let me see it together. I would, I would love to see it. And then here we go, some of the different covers that are on there. All right, very cool. So there you go, guys. This is the Spider-Verse, Spider-Geddon first look. I'll have a deep dive later on. Let me know what you think about it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.